Y'all, my feet hurt. I can't get these freaking shoes off. It feels so good to be back in my apartment. Whew, I don't even need this on. I've been going back and forth from my other apartment to my new apartment because I'm packing. Whew, I can't catch my breath. But today, I just wanted to do a little unpacking video. Currently sitting on the mattress pad. Very comfortable. So I'm just gonna set y'all right here and do a quick unboxing haul with all this stuff back here. Most of it is new stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all what they are. Some of it is just clothes from, you know, some of it is old stuff that we packed up. I'll just be showing y'all the new stuff that I got. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I have all my packages here. I am going to be giving y'all a little unboxing haul of only the home decorating stuff that I purchased. So let's start with Bath & Body Works. I just picked up some soaps because I don't know about y'all, but Bath & Body Works just brings good vibes to your place, especially when you pick up New stuff from Bath & Body Works, new scents. So this is Orange Sunrise, this is Sweet Apple, and this one is Sun Washed, sun washed Citrus. That is a tongue twister. I also have this Coconut Eucalyptus hand soap scent that is in my bathroom right now. And then in my kitchen I have I think it's called Candy Hearts. It's a Valentine's Day collection or a Valentine's Day um, limited edition scent. I would definitely run to Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, oh my gosh, Bath & Body Works and check these scents out. They smell great. Let me show y'all my eucalyptus, my eucalyptus, what is it, orange? No, <laughs> y'all, I'm losing my mind. The coconut eucalyptus in the bathroom, so let me show y'all that one real quick. Oh. Here is that Candy Hearts one I was talking about. I think it's called Candy Hearts, but it doesn't say anywhere in the bottle, so it just says B-U, B-U, B-U. So, yeah, B-U, I guess. Oops. All right, so let me take y'all. It's like a mini apartment tour. Echo, echo. So let me take y'all in here and show y'all the eucalyptus. Actually, I'm gonna leave the light off because it looks better. So here we go. Here is the coconut eucalyptus. It smells really good, I love it. And it looks good in my bathroom. There I am, hey guys. Also with the hand soaps, I picked up the mahogany teakwood scent for Anthony since we will both be living here. He has a nice little manly scent. Next, I went to Home Goods and I picked up a few things. Now actually, this, I think, is from Hobby Lobby, not Home Goods. So this is from Hobby Lobby. It's just a basket that I thought I could put extra face or hand towels. So I got this for the bathroom. Next, from, uh, this isn't from Home Goods either. This is from, oh, it is from Home Goods. So let me show y'all what it is. So I picked up this cool little woman. It's a yoga sculpture. So she's just in a little yoga pose, kind of like what I'm in, except if I have my arms up. So I thought this was very cute and it'll give me that vibe that I'm going for for this new apartment. Ooh, I'm about to sneeze, y'all. <coughs> Bless me. So the vibe I'm trying to go for is like a Scandinavian vibe, kind of minimalist, modern. I'ma try to do minimalist, but you know, y'all, I have a lot of stuff. The color scheme will just be grays and blacks and golds and silvers. So 
Um, the gray is kind of like a gray oak for the woods. And then for the metals, it'll be like bronze or black. I'll have um, some natural features in the apartment, like, like this basket, how it has that natural look to it. The wicker, um, yeah, like the wooden wicker look. So I'll also have a few plants here and there. I'm thinking about getting a fig tree. So I thought this woman would be perfect. A little statue, a little uh, table decor for the apartment. My idea is to have a front entry table. Y'all, this place must be infested with ladybugs because I'm just seeing ladybugs everywhere. But anyways, so I wanna have a table with a mirror on top, like a little console table, and I'll just stick like her on top, maybe some books and some other sculptures or vases or statues on the other side and then have like baskets underneath. Y'all get the, the, the picture? I'm gonna have to maybe pop in an inspiration picture or something. I won't have this place completely decorated like I want. It's definitely gonna take some time. Next, to go along with that wooden feel that I was telling you about, the natural feel, I got this from Hobby Lobby is just a wooden, what would you call it, canister? It's just a wooden basket, okay? A wooden bowl, that's exactly what it is, a wooden bowl. The, the color looks off, let me see if I can fix that. Okay, I fixed the color a little bit. I hope it's better, but yeah. Here's the bowl, it's just a light beige color. It's beautiful, I love it. So I was thinking about using this in the bathroom as well. I'm going for like a nice zen, peaceful, soft atmosphere in the bathroom. So a lot of like light pastel colors, but not really colors. It, it's more like just grays and, and black, which is not really pastel. And whites and maybe a pop of like pastel green or blue here and there. Y'all will have to see. It's gonna be a Scandinavian vibe. Like so maybe y'all can picture a Scandinavian bathroom. Yeah, so the next item that I picked up, this thing is super heavy. This is from Target. It's just a vase, 100% cement vase. And that's another thing that I'm gonna have throughout this apartment natural fibers, natural stones, natural woods. So that also means I'll have cement, cement decor placed all around the apartment. For example, this. Um, this gives the place texture and it definitely gives that Scandinavian vibe that I'm going for. I like how it looks a little Aztec. It has the straight lines going on, the geometric lines. I can't wait to figure out how I'm going to, or figure out where I'm going to put this. I think I might put it in the kitchen. So next, I should have got some scissors, y'all. So bear with me. Woo. All right, y'all, so next, I got something from Etsy.com. If y'all haven't heard of Etsy or been on Etsy, definitely check it out. So Etsy just has different shops of people who sell things. It's usually handmade, so I love it. You get unique stuff that you might not be able to find elsewhere. And I just love getting handmade stuff. It fills the place up with this type of just love, you know? And uniqueness that I enjoy. She got this wrapped good. It smells like peanut butter. Can y'all guess what this is? If you can guess correctly in the comments below, there is no doubt that you are psychic. And I need you to call me <laughs> so you can tell me what my future got going on. All right, are y'all ready? Damn. That's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. A rock. A rock. It's a big, beautiful, old rock. Y'all probably did not expect that. This is a, I think it's called Smoky Quartz rock. I'm not sure, but this just adds to the natural tones that I'm going for in this place. Why well, I said rock. My bad, y'all. 
Not rock. Let me give it a little bit more respect. It is a crystal. So I will have this probably placed on top of some books or something. This definitely goes with the vibe and it's pretty cool. When the sun hits it, it just glows real nicely. All right, let's see what is next. Oh, let's go with this. So this one I had already opened a little bit. This is from the UK. I purchased this from a girl in the UK, but I believe it was made in Africa. So that is awesome. There's just some pillow covers. Again, with the natural fibers. Ooh, they're super dusty. Ooh. So that's one of them. Here is the other one. I wanna go with a cream, black, gray, and blue vibe in the living room. And here is the other one. This one doesn't look how it looked online. The color is a little off. So that's kind of disappointing. I may not use this one. I was hoping that they would complement each other, but they don't really complement each other. So we will see, maybe y'all let me know, do these two look good together, yay or nay? Should I use them together or not? What do y'all think? Should I keep this one or keep this one or keep both? Let me know. All right, y'all, so I went kind of crazy with the little stoneware, as you, you'd call it, or the little table top decor, whatever you want to call it. So I picked up something else that kind of correlates with this from Target. I'm so happy I was able to get this. This was super hard to find. Constantly, constantly getting sold out, but I was able to snag one. So this is a ceramic. So this right here, I say it's concrete, but it's actually ceramic. It just feels like concrete. And it's heavy like concrete, but I think it's ceramic. This is also ceramic. Y'all, I don't know, but this is ceramic. It's a ceramic donut vase. I'm definitely gonna decorate this. I need to figure out where I want to put it. I might put it on the console table that I was talking about, or I might stick it on my dresser in my bedroom. So we will see. I just noticed that with the smoky quartz, it came with a little card talking about the crystal. So I'm going to read this to y'all real quick. I thought it was really interesting. So it says the smoky quartz helps to prioritize needs versus wants. It can remove negative energy and transform it into positive energy. The stone assists in making wishes come true by bringing their essence into reality. Therefore, smoky quartz represents focus and grounding. How awesome is that? So I'm definitely gonna hold on to that so I can educate some folks <laughs> when they pop up in my apartment and they're like, why do you have this rock here? I can be like, oh, it's a smoky quartz. It, it, brings, it brings what you need and not what you want. So maybe you should leave. <laughs> I might want you, but I don't need you. I'm just kidding. Let's do this one next. It's super heavy. I think I know what it is. I don't even know how I'm supposed to open this. Oh, here you go. That ladybug is just having a good time. It's just going from that side of my window to that side of my window, back and forth, running laps, just having a great time. All right, so these are I can smell them already. So these are the Euro Square Water Fowl Feathers Bed Pillow. So these have real feathers in them. And it's just a big old pillow for my bed. So I'm gonna open this so it can air out. It definitely needs to air out. I probably need to put it on my balcony. Oh, and this is by um, Serta, the brand Serta if you're wondering. So this is what I got. And yes, it, it smells. 
it smells it looks really flat but it just needs to puff up so i just need to let it rise up i'm going to just toss it over there and as well as that one because they stink oh and i got some more and these are huge i did not know they were going to be as big as they are all right what is next We'll do this. What could this be? Oh, more pillowcases. I don't even remember ordering this. Oh, is it a blanket? There's a pillowcase. Oh, it's a blanket. I do not remember ordering this. I think this is from Target, honestly. And it's really cute, but it doesn't feel like a blanket. I, I don't understand. Let me give y'all a close up of the texture. My um, zooming in and out hasn't really been working, or zooming in and out. My autofocus has not really been working, so I hope it focused, but I'm not sure. So yeah, um, I guess it's a blanket. It definitely doesn't feel like it would keep me warm, and it's really rough. Like, can y'all hear that? It's really rough, so. I don't understand this, but it gives me good vibes. It goes well with the pillows. Like, let me just grab all of this. Can't y'all see how it just flows? It just vibes, like all of this together. Even this pillow here, so. I'm excited to see how that turns out. I may keep this, I'm not sure, cause I just don't know what I'd do with it. I honestly don't think I'd want to put this on the couch because who wants to cuddle with this? It's so rough. Um, I could use it on my bench outside, use it for like uh, my, my patio furniture. But I don't know. I don't know y'all. So I'm just gonna toss this to the side and we will see. I think it's a blanket in this one too. And like I said, they're both from Target. I remember now. Yeah. It's the same blanket, but different color. So this is like taupe all the way through and that other one had blue and taupe all the way through. So this is, this is like taupe, beige, brown going through it. Ooh, and it does. It's dusty and it has that, it smells like an aquarium. It definitely smells, it has that natural smell. So I don't know what the heck they dip this thing in. I don't know, I don't know what it is made out of. Does it say what it's made out of? It definitely smells like a tree or some leaves or something. I, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but yeah, there's no information, like none. None, I don't, there's none. But definitely just check out target.com, um, throw blankets, and hopefully it will have some details about it on there. So next we will do this, another big one. I know it's in here too. I think it's my comforter. I have to get a new comforter, y'all. Oh, this one smell like booty. So I read the reviews and they said, this is the Hungarian White Goose 700 thread count down comforter. I read the reviews and they did say that it came with like a slight scent, but just aired out and it'll go away and I smell it. I smell it, so yes. There is a scent, and it, it didn't smell very good. But I had to get a new comforter because the one that I have is just all farted out. Like, my cat continuously <laughs> would, this sounds so gross, but my cat would poop. Like, she'd, she'd ha like, runny poop would be on my mattress sheets, and I'd have to wash it. Not my sheets, my comforter. And I would have to continuously wash it, and it just got to a point where I was just grossed out. Um, I, my last straw was when she puked on it. So, and that was just a few days ago. So I'm just like, I'm done, I'm done. Um, my cat is overweight, so she can't clean herself like cats usually do. 
So instead of licking her butt like cats would do, she takes her butt and rubs it on my comforter. So I'll have like dookie smeared on my comforter. Anyway, that's enough of that. Y'all click that subscribe button, help me out y'all. <sighs> Support your girl. So here we are. I don't even know if I wanna open it yet. I'm gonna have to put it on the balcony so it can air out. But here it is. It's just a white comforter. Next, I'm going to reach all the way in the back and get this crate and barrel package. Ooh. All right, let me see if I can open it. Oh, your girl is strong. Oh, it's, this is boring. So these are just some pillows, some pillow shams, or shams, how do they call them? These are just pillows. These are down alternative pillow inserts. Um, I'm hoping that they will feel cooler and that they will hold up better so I don't have to replace them as often, but this is tiny. I did not know it was gonna be as small as it is. I think I bought this for this, yeah. Okay, so that's what I did. Okay, Whew. here's a square one, which is for the other pillowcase. And then another square one for this pillowcase. So let me open that one. There we go. Perfect. Ooh. So next I have some more pillows. Go figure. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering about my hair, I'm definitely going to do a video on how I achieved this look. So don't forget to subscribe to your girl and turn on your post notifications so you will be notified when that video is up. Sorry about the, the shadows. There we go. So. I did a cute little hairstyle today, but this is this is pretty old. I've had it in for a little over a month. So I think I'll keep it in for another three weeks, maybe four weeks, and then I'm gonna take them out because they still look pretty good. So I added a little bit of bling bling on the side, a little bit of cuteness. Bam. It's cute, huh? I got it in like pigtails, so it's a little pigtail situation. I thought it was super cute. Super cute, super long, I'm loving it. I don't know what they're called. Um, someone told me they're called Beyonce braids, but I'm not sure. Um, this is my first time trying blonde, so I think blonde actually looks pretty good on my skin tone, and I might get a blonde wig, so we will see. Stay tuned for more videos to see what my next hairstyle will look like. And y'all, look how long my hair is. Y'all just wait for that tutorial. It's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. I think this is from, Ooh. it's from Zoo Lily. These are, a uh, gray down and feather, minimum 5% content sterilized pillows. So, let me get this open. There's no scent, and I'm going to toss this so it can air up. Ooh. Where did my little ladybug friend go? There he is. Here's the other one. And these are gonna go on my bed. Those pillows that I showed y'all earlier, they're gonna go on the um, couch. So all of them are, if they look good together. What is next? I guess I gotta do the big boxes. All right, let's get this big box. All right, so here it is. Oh, don't want it to fall. Here is the lamp. I guess you can say lamp post. Here is the lamp shade. It's super heavy, but it goes with the natural tones that I'm going for. So there's a close up. I love how it has the brushed nickel um, details. 
I'll turn down the brightness so maybe y'all can see the texture a little better. This is 100% concrete. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. With the lamp shade, I can kind of get a vibe. I was torn between this lamp and then a gold wired lamp. I'll definitely have to show y'all when that one comes in. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do silver details or gold details for the accent pieces. So y'all let me know whenever that comes in, I will show y'all and y'all let me know what y'all like best. This or the gold one. I'm gonna have fun decorating for sure. Looks like we have two more boxes. So this one's lighter, so I'm gonna go with this one. Actually, I'm not gonna open this one because I already know what it is. It's the same box as that lamp. So I'm going to push this one aside and open that one off camera. Oh, I can smell it, y'all. At least I know I don't have COVID because I can smell these things. But I don't mind it. I kind of like it. Ooh. So these are seagrass baskets from Vietnam. I wanted to get the ones that were made in Senegal and Africa, but the guy that was selling them seemed a little sketchy from his reviews. So I had to go with this one. All right, y'all, are y'all ready for this? You can definitely smell the seagrass. So I wanted to use this as like a laundry basket. It's not really the color I wanted to go for. I wanted to get the one from Senegal. It had more of a gray tone to it. Even the, um, what would you call this? The threading or the, I'm not sure what you would call that. Y'all see what I'm talking about. Even that was gray, so I was like, perfect. But the reviews were so sketchy, I was like, uh-uh. I can't send my money to this guy with these sketchy reviews. So I sent my money here and I got this one. So here's the second one. This one is smaller than this one. I'll put them side by side so y'all can see. There you go, y'all can see the size comparison. They both come with lids, which I love. And it's perfect. So I'm either going to use these as laundry baskets or I'm going to put these up under the console table I was talking about with the mirror on top and then I'm gonna have baskets underneath. So maybe I'll use these baskets underneath or I'll get different baskets. I'll have to see how it looks. But so far I'm liking how it's looking next to the pillows and the other stuff that I purchased. So I'm gonna grab the camera and give y'all a close up of everything. And then that will be it for this quick little home decor haul for my new apartment. Cannot wait to get my furniture in and really like see how everything just vibes together, you know? But anyways, let me give y'all a close up on these items. I do have the clothing, the, I do have the clothing items that I purchased and I really wanna show y'all, but I think I should do that in a different video, so. I literally put all the clothes in this, um, I call it a granny cart, but I put all my clothes, my new clothes in there. Here is a close up of all the the new items that I purchased is not very, it's not a very sexy layout, but just wanted to give y'all an up close just in case y'all missed anything. If anybody's interested about what the inside looks like, there you go. Here's the other one. That's how deep it is. Let's see. Let me move this close up on that pillow. Close up on my receipt, oh no. Here's that blanket. 
put that over here. And then we have my yoga lady. She's tucked in her little basket. Here she is. I'm going to just put her over here. My rock, my beautiful rock. Uh, isn't that from uh, Spongebob? It's a rock, something like that. Y'all, I love Spongebob. I'm, I'm so sorry if you hate Spongebob or Spongebob references, but I love Spongebob. So I'm going to put this rock in this basket just so it doesn't scratch anything up. But here is a close up of the basket. And then we have this beautiful thing. I don't even really know what I'm gonna do with it, but I love it. Like I said, I might stick it in my bathroom or actually I might put it in my kitchen. We will see. Stick that on top of the yoga lady. And the pillow. Love it. And then this. And then these heavy things that I just need to leave on the floor. My, my hand was shaking trying to pick that thing up. So I'll just leave it on the floor. Here is the lamp, which is just as heavy. And then that cute little thing, which is lightweight, thank God. So yeah, so that is it. Everything is in an ugly pile. The vibe in this apartment is just, amazing it just makes me feel so good i'm so happy to finally be here y'all will see a whole different me hopefully y'all will enjoy my videos and subscribe to your girl again look at the hair and isn't this lighting just amazing what in the world Okay, I'm looking at four ladybugs right now. So we have a big issue that I need to handle. Um, so that's the downside to this place. Ladybugs. Apparently that's lucky, but y'all, we got a problem. We, I'm going to wake up one morning and see thousands of ladybugs on my ceiling. <laughs> y'all, trust me, I'm going to be boating out of here. I'm gone. I'm, I'm track racing out of here. She's a runner. She's a track star. Anyways, I'm a track star for real, yes. But so, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, did y'all did y'all peep my little um camping picnic soccer mom chair back there? Yeah, because I ain't got no furniture, okay? So chill, don't play me. Don't play me. My furniture will get here and I think by the time this video is uploaded, I will have my furniture here, so that's good news. Let me show y'all these freaking ladybugs. Do y'all see the little dots? Those are ladybugs. There's one over there, you see the little dot? And then there's one down here, but he's hiding, so. He'll be hard to see, I don't even. I don't even know, I don't even see him no more, but he was down there. He ran, he was like, you are not about to put me on camera. Uh-uh, girl, I'm not camera ready. Outfit from Fashion Nova. Um, actually, the top is from Fashion Nova. Pants are from um, Pretty Little Thing. I love this top. I love the little balloon sleeves and I love the pants. They're super comfy. They're kind of big on me. They're hopefully it's focused, but here are the pants from Pretty Little Thing. Love them. Top from Fashion Nova. It's kind of hard to see the top. There you go. So yeah, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. I hate having to turn the camera off on y'all. I feel like I'm being so rude. But I will talk to y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Follow your girl on Instagram at Danny Denise. I'll pop it up here on the screen like I always do. And I think I'll wrap it up here. So y'all saw the apartment tour, and now y'all, actually I might make them two different videos. Yeah, I'll make them two different videos, so go check out the apartment tour if you haven't seen that already. It's an in empty apartment tour, and yeah, I hope y'all have a great day or night. Whenever y'all are watching this, don't forget to subscribe to your girl. Love y'all. Bye.